Some parts of Placer County boast a burgeoning technology-based economy, but the digital divide is also evident. For example, in the rural northwest corner of Placer County, the Sheridan Elementary School was struggling to stay connected. When I became principal at Sheridan Elementary School, it was operating on a T1 line, which is one meg for 80 students and teachers and administration. For years, the staff at Sheridan School had trouble just sending an email to the district office, and the kids typically didn't have access to the internet, a staple of today's education. They didn't have it at home and they didn't have it at school, so uh, it really all goes back to the, the foundation for our Board of Supervisors and what they believed in is trying to get and help support rural broadband. In this digital age, if you don't have broadband and don't have the speeds, I mean that's what enables so much to happen. I don't care if it's a school or if it's a business and what they're trying to do, it's critical. It's expected. So Placer County, which has had an ongoing broadband expansion program, helped make some connections with a company called Wave that was literally willing to go the extra mile to bring fiber optic broadband to Sheridan Elementary. Wave was really good about thinking outside of the box, knowing that there isn't 10,000 homes sitting out here. It was really about the school and how did they look to cover their costs. They have to do the right thing from a business perspective, but they were the only ones that responded. This absolutely changed the face of instruction, engagement, the instructional minutes that we lost because of the slow internet access. I wish I had all of those minutes back. <laughs> I really do. The challenge of bringing high-speed internet to a rural community was enormous and took many years, but wouldn't have happened without community partnership. And despite what it might look like, internet access at school is much more than just fun and games. They look at it as a game because the engagement level is high, because the risk is low, and because it's fast. They're able to make personal gains quickly, and they don't understand. You know, behind the curtain, we've designed it all academically and curriculum driven. It's the private industry folks, the willingness from a principal like Melissa that really didn't take no for an answer. It was really that resolve that drove it to happen. Most of us that go into county, local government, I think there's a piece of us that definitely we want to make a difference. That's why people do it and, and that was part for me was to be able to come and help make a difference and, and so yeah, it does it does feel good. So.